Sometimes thoughts can become something that's very very bothering. It can become something that can make you feel anxious, depressed, scared, or it could even make you feel exhausted because of overthinking. Now, a lot of times, these thoughts or these negative or unhelpful thoughts they usually work themselves out, but sometimes they don't, and it becomes it just, it just becomes this annoying thing that you would like to deal with. So in this video, I am going to be telling you a three-step model that you could use to deal with unhelpful thoughts. In fact, it'll help you destroy them, or it'll help you turn that thought into something positive for you. Hello, guys! Welcome to Models of Excellence, where we tell you about tools, strategies, and techniques to help you lead an excellent life. So let's start with this three-step process. First one: notice and stop your thoughts. Now you can't, by the way, you can't just stop your thoughts. It doesn't work that way. But what I mean is, sometimes when you start overthinking or when you start having these thoughts that are not helpful for you or these thoughts that don't make you feel good, I want you to stop, <coughs> stop activity or just stop every other thinking. Focus on that thought. What is that about? Identify the thought that makes that is bothering you. Identify it. So that's the first step. Step number two is to compare that with cognitive distortions. Now, <clears throat> if you don't know what cognitive distortions are, uh, I've made a part one of this video where I've spoken about cognitive distortions. So you can go and check that out. Link is somewhere here. You can click somewhere on top here, and then you can go check that out, and then come back here. Now, if you can't go check that out, if you just want to know now, I'll give you a bit, a small sample of what it means. Think of cognitive distortions as, let's say you're wearing a glasses, not the sunglasses, uh, not the one with um, all these colors or different kind of uh, shade. I'm talking about those which are transparent. Let's say you're wearing a transparent glass, and you're looking, <clears throat> and whatever you're looking in front of you is clear. You know what that is? You can see it clearly. Then dust. If dust start gathering up, then what you see will change. Now, if you don't know that there is dust, if you don't know what type of dust it is and how to clear it off, your vision is messed up. Your vision is not accurate, which means, dip, uh, which means if you were to use that vision for something else, it wouldn't work. For example, if you're going to be walking around, <clears throat> there's a, the, you, you're going to be walking around in a public place, and you you have a blurred vision. It's not going to be a good experience for you or for the people. So cognitive distortions is something that will tell you what type of dust it is and how it could get cleared. That's all. Now, one example for this, one of them is extreme thinking, either positive or negative or black or white thinking, that kind of a thinking. <clears throat> it's kind of all or nothing thinking. By which, if you don't get it. Sometimes you know in movies how people are like you know what you're either with me or against me. So this is one of the cognitive distortions. Uh, this is one of the things that are spoiling you from seeing things clearly. So when people think that when people are like you know what nobody is supporting me, they are all against me. That is kind of a not an accurate thinking, right? So what you do is you take your thought and you compare it with a list of cognitive distortions. There are there are ten of them. So you compare it and see whether this falls with any one of them. Now, if it falls one of them, what do you do? Step number three is you replace that thought. So, for example, <clears throat> if it's all or nothing, like for example, if it's like you know what, nobody's supporting me in my venture. That's a th that is a thought. When you compare it, it comes under all or nothing thinking. And once you know that, you know that your thought might not be accurate. Right? If it falls under any cognitive distortion, your thoughts may not be accurate. And once you know that, since it's extreme thinking when you compare it, what do you do next is replace that thought. <clears throat> the reason I'll come to how to how do you replace it? The reason I'm telling you to replace the thought is you can't just it, the thought just does not vanish. Right? Now unconsciously you replace the thought with something else depending on your life experience and all that. But if you want it to help you, you replace it with something that motivates you, inspires your insights, some positive feeling uh, inside you. 
So for example, if it's nobody supporting in my venture, you can replace the thought with, well, uh, what can you, re yeah, you can replace it with something like, you know what, I need to reach out to more people. Our energies have, have not matched it. So I need to reach out to more people. That could be one positive thought. The other thought could be like, you know what? I believe in my vision, even though nobody else does. And I'm going to be, I'm, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to be walking. I'm going to continue to walk in this path, even though nobody believes in it, because I believe in it. That could be another thought. The third way of thought could be like, you know what? If nobody believes in it, what's the reason? I need to probably think a lot more deeper about this. What is going on here? which will help you to inquire more about that. So that kind of a thinking, that is what you do. So quick summary. First one is identify and stop the thought. Next is compare it with cognitive, dist cognitive distortions. And, the, and step three is replace the thought with another thought, which is more helpful, which can help you uh, improve your life. With that said, guys, these are the three step, pro this is three step process that could help you uh, work or sort out your negative thinking or the thoughts that are bothering you. That said, if you felt like it's something that you could apply, if you felt like you learned something of value, then leave a like and hit that subscribe button. With that said, this is Abhishek signing off. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.